Hi everybody, it's me Sissy and today I have a nautical theme DIY for you. Usually I do the farmhouse, but um, this was just so cute, I just had to do it. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put it in my house, it doesn't match anything I have, but it was cute. It is, you know how you've been seeing the little jars in Dollar Tree with the charms hanging on the anchor and the ship's wheel and stuff? Well. I, I really thought those were so cute. I haven't found them in my Dollar Tree yet, but I've seen a lot of people haul them. So I decided I wanted a bigger version of it. So this is my version of it with the anchor. And I'm going to show you how I tinted the base blue. We painted the anchor and I made these cute little uh, seashells flowers to go in my arrangement. And then I used my Cricut and cut this little design out that says, Hope is my anchor and stuck it on here. That's completely optional. If you don't have a Cricut, don't worry about it. You can write it on with the paint pen or just leave it off. But anyway, let's get to the video and I'll show you how okay, I did it. For the first part of this DIY, we're going to need a vase, whatever size you want to use. Um, I wanted something a little bit larger than the than the ones they've been having at the Dollar Tree that you can buy already made. So um, I picked this one because it's got this nice curved in neck. So we're going to use that. You're going to need some just plain school glue or Mod Podge. Um, I just got this at Dollar Tree. And you're gonna need some cups to mix it in and you're gonna need some blue food color. And I just have the uh, Spice Supreme. <laughs> um, this came from the Dollar Tree also. Um, but be careful because the uh, caps aren't on good and it leaked everywhere. And I would suggest that you wear rubber gloves to do this part of the um, tutorial. So let me I say that I don't have my gloves. Let me have my, my gloves. gloves. Um, I'm going to tint my blue water mixture with blue food coloring because I'm going for that kind of nautical ocean blue color. I'm going to put some blue flowers in here and so, but whatever, you can tint this glass whatever color you want to. I just thought it was nautical and it kind of go along with the theme we're going with. So the way I mixed it was two parts of glue to one part water. And you could get all fancy and measure it. Um, but I just kind of used the lines on my cup and measured. You just want it to be uh, thick enough that it will stick. I can't, can't do anything with the gloves on now. So oh, there we go. Um, you want it to be thick enough to stick to the sides of your jar. Um, but runny enough that it'll run out. And what I did was I mixed mine up first. Then I had a little jar and I just tested it on that. So, and you're going to need a lot of paper towels too. So I'm just going to take my cup. And we're going to put two parts glue. So I just squeeze some out. So I feel that maybe halfway to the first line. So I know I don't, I want to just put a little bit of water, mix it up, see how it looks, see if it's runny enough, and then we'll, um, let's see, that's, that's how much glue I have. And I'm going to put some water in it now. Okay, so now I've added my water. And then I'm going to add a couple of drops. Have the blue food coloring and remember um this is going to clear kind of opaque 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 and it's gonna um give it kind of that stained ocean glass look so i put four drops of glue in here and then stir it with a stick or um or your paintbrush whatever you want to use and it's going to take a little bit of stirring it's best to use hot water. It kind of helps that glue loosen up. And you just want to stir it, stir it, stir it till you don't see any big lumps of white. And this is the same principle they use um, at Christmas when they paint the um, ornaments. But some of them use wax. But I, didn't, I don't know how good that, floor wax, I don't know how good that would work on this. So I think I've got mine a little bit runny. Yeah, see that you can like, I don't know if you can see, mm -hmm. I can't tilt the cup enough, but if you kind of pull it up the side of your cup, if it sticks, 
you're doing good. If it just completely runs off, you got it. It's too um, thin. So let me just add a little more glue to mine. And then we'll mix it up. You want it to be slightly thinner than paint. And if you do one coat in your glass and you don't like it, you can just um, let it dry and then do another coat. I think I got that thick enough, so if you can see in there. See, it was still really runny, but not as runny as a water. So, I'm going to adjust the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I have my area covered. This is just a trash bag. Um, I don't want to get this blue mixture on my countertop. But, and you can look in here and you can see the consistency. And all we're going to do, we're going to check and make sure we've got it mixed good. You just don't want to see any big clumps of white glue. Then we're going to pour a good amount in here. And then you're just going to take it and kind of tilt it and twist it. And what I did was I just did it till I didn't see any air bubbles. Because if you look, I don't know if you can see them, there's like air bubbles up here at the top. So I'm just tilting it a little bit till those bubbles get gone. And then I'll tilt it a little more and a little more. Um, I saw some people on Pinterest and stuff saying you could take a paintbrush. I tried that and all I did was get a streaky mess. Oh, and I did clean the inside of my vase with um, just some regular rubbing alcohol. I put it in there and kind of swished it around and reached as much of it because I can't get my whole hand in there. Reached um, in as far as I could and got any kind of marks or fingerprints or anything that was on the inside. Okay, now the tricky part. I'm going to put my cup over here. We're going to tilt it just a little bit till we get the top of the neck right here. Hope I see a bubble. If you see a bubble somewhere, just kind of roll the bubble to the bottom and do it back and forth. Okay, so then we're just going to tilt and you're just going to let a little bit run out your edge. I don't know, my hand's in the way. And then you're just going to kind of turn and let it pour out while it's coating the neck and if you and you know if you finish turning all your stuff's out and you didn't think it's coated quite enough all you got to do is pour it back in and do it again okay I see I do I do have a bubble in there and I missed a spot on the neck so I'm just gonna take my mixture pour it back in And then we're just gonna and just keep doing that till you get it the way you want it. Okay, and you I mean you're not gonna be able to put fresh flowers in here because um you know this is not going to be waterproof, I don't think. And, you, of course, you don't want to put any food or drink in here. Why would you? But I'm um, going to do that. I think I got it all covered. Then you're going to hold it upside down. And just let much of it drip out as you can. And just hold it there for a second. Mama, will you come help me? Can you come help me? Sure. I forgot to tear off my paper towel. You come over here. She'll tear, tear me off a paper towel? Yeah. Thank you. You got it? Yep. All right. Thank you. And I just took my paper towel and I'm going to fold it into fours. And then I'm just going to, because since it's kind of puddling up around the neck, Mm -hmm. um, if you can see that. I'm just going to take it and kind of dab it on my paper towel. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to 
fold my paper towel and dab it and just let it sit for a minute and let some of it run and if it looks kind of streaky like I do see a spot over here I might have to pour some more in on that side over there so all right but you just keep see like I've got a if you can see it there's a spot right there so yeah. I'm just gonna pour some more yeah, in here I see it. yeah I'm gonna pour it right in there right on top of it or I'm just gonna pour it all in there and we'll just just keep doing it till you get it all covered or as covered as you want it I mean it's never gonna be perfect so yeah. I'm just gonna do that and it's not gonna dry this dark y'all so just so you know and if you get any on the outside you can take care of that um, after it dries you can wipe it off or I'm just gonna look. I think I got everything in there. So I'm gonna let it all run out. And when you get through with this, don't pour it down your drain. <laughs> it is glue. Okay, so I got all my little drips off. Then I'm just gonna blot it on my paper towel. Mm -hmm. And I got a little bit of, can I have another paper towel, Mom? I got some on the outside over here I'm going to wipe off. Thank you. you. Alright. Yeah. So. Alright. I'm going to dab it. Okay, then we're gonna let this sit. Um, you, you, I would say um, let it dry overnight before you put anything in the vase. But um, we're gonna finish decorating. I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour, mm -hmm. so it's good enough to handle. But yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure you don't have any big runs around the neck. So see, that's from blotting it on the um, paper towel. It's got all the drips off. Okay, so I'm going to set this up somewhere safe where it won't get knocked over, and we're going to let that dry. Okay. These are um, the little clips. I get these um, in the stationery section, but I use them for bag clips too, and they're good for this too. You just yeah. fill a clip on. I don't want to break my shell. No, I wouldn't either. So I'm just going to clip that on there, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. I might... Um, they have these other pretty shells in here. I don't know if I want to use those or I just want to use the clamshell ones. I think I'm just going to use the clamshell ones and save these for something else. Okay, okay so I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of these. God, this is, this is good. So they gonna call tomorrow. They coming tomorrow. They're coming to dinner tomorrow, Mom. Okay. What do we didn't need to get? I've got everything. We're fine.
Okay, so I've got them all glued on and clapped, and we're going to let those dry. Then we're going to take our little anchor cut out, and we're just going to give it a quick coat of the Waverly white chalk paint. dry now and our anchors dry so all we're going to do is get our glue gun and we're just going to put a little drop of glue and just wrap some twine around the neck Then we're going to take another piece of twine, we're going to hook it to our anchor. And all I did was I made a loop. I just folded my twine in half, made a loop, stuck it through the hole. Then I'm going to take my ends and pull it back through the loop. Then we have our anchor. And then we're just going to hang that on our jar. Don't tie it real tight because you want it to hang down a little bit. Then we'll clip the um, ends off. And then you can just leave it like that. Or you could um, add some flowers. Okay. This would be great just like it is, but I have my Cricut and I wrote a little, um, just used one of my fonts on my computer um, and wrote a little quote that says, Hope is my anchor. And I'm going to put it on my vase. That is beautiful. Thank you, Mommy. I'm trying to see how I can show you how I can do this. And I didn't, I'm in too big a hurry, y'all, and my base is not dry, and uh, you can see where. You probably really do need to give the base 24 hours to dry before you mess with it. But we're going to pretend like we don't see that. And we'll just turn around here to a piece of the side that looks good. And anyway, here's my um, little quote that I cut out. And all we're going to do is take the squeegee, burnish it so it transfers onto the, um, this has transfer tape on it. And I put some cuts in it because this is kind of a rounded surface and I want it to kind of conform to the sides of the jar. So you peel your backing off. And then we're just going to line this up. Oh, my letter's sticking up. I got it put back down. I'm going to line this up. And where I put my little cuts, I can fold that second word up just so I have to just worry about getting the first line of text on there. So.
Wow, that took long enough for me to get that on there. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. I don't know if you can see it. The light's bad. But anyway. Well, that was it, y'all. And just believe me, the part putting the decal on with Cricut, I made it look a lot harder than it really is. I don't know um, if it was the vinyl I was using. I bought a big variety pack from Amazon and um, some of it is not too good. And that had a really hard time getting that to stick to the glass. Everything else I've gotten sticks way too fast. But anyway, we got it on there. It's on good. And I think it looks really cute. So um, I don't really do much other than farmhouse decor so this is a little different for me um, and as I've said before I'm not the best flower arranger in the world but I do uh, like my little seashell flowers but anyway y'all have a good week remember to enter my um, giveaway I'm doing the 5,000 subscriber giveaway um, it's coming up really soon so comment subscribe and like a video and you'll be entered but remember sissy can do it you can do it too y'all have a great day and get out there and make some stuff